Como se dice? Pepperoni. Why do you keep on saying pepperoni? Did you already go the first one? No. You didn't go? No. Oh. No, I was waiting for you. <laughs> so, um, so in this case, ladies and gentlemen, we, know, we understand that i is equal to the square root of negative 1. Everybody agrees with that, right? Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Anytime we have negative 1, that's our imaginary unit, i. So now I'm going to say, well, what could i to the 38th be? Yes? We just have i does I equals the square root of negative 1. I doesn't equal. Right. Correct. Correct. I really don't know what you're talking about. It's still equals negative, square root of negative 1. It's not going to make the problem any different. It's still going to be. Because we're going to be using operations with i rather than using operations with negative 1, which I'll explain. So yes, I, you're right. You can, all, all the problems that you see i, you can just replace them with the square root of negative 1. You're right. But we're going to, use, we're going to do operations, add, subtract, multiply, divide. And I'm going to use i rather than this. And I'll explain why, because I think it's a little bit easier to understand. But yeah, if you don't want to use i and you want to use the square root of negative 1, by all means, you can do that. However, I'll show you um, in doing some problems why it just becomes easier using i. Okay, and I'll explain that. For instance, this is i to the 38th, or you could also say, you know, the square root of negative one to the 38th power. But majority of you guys look at this and say that looks pretty crazy. This kind of just looks like a variable raised to the 38th power, right? It just looks, you know, it looks a little bit better than that. Um, however, it's really the same thing. Now, so if we're going to get to i to the 38th, then we only know i then we need to start working here. So the first thing we'll do is do i squared, which is basically i times i, right? So therefore, that's really square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1. So something, the square root times the square root of the same number is just going to equal, in this case, which is negative 1. So i squared equals negative 1, right? So now we do i cubed which is basically i squared times i. Well, i squared is negative 1, we already just showed that, times i. So negative 1 times i is negative i. OK, now let's do i to the fourth. So that is basically i to the fourth is i squared times i squared. Agree with me, right? Add the powers. i squared is negative 1, so that's negative 1 times negative 1, which equals positive 1. So we're only at 4, guys. We need to go up to 32. Are you ready to go up to 32? I to the fifth is really i to the fourth times i. Well, fortunately, we know i to the fourth, which is 1. So times i, 1 times i is just i. If we go to i to the sixth, that's really i to the fourth times i squared. i to the fourth, we know, is 1. i squared is negative 1. So before I start going to i to the seventh, what I start to notice is after i to the fourth, it starts to repeat itself. It goes back to i, then goes back to negative 1. So therefore, if I was going to ask you guys, what is i to the seventh, you could justify that i to the seventh would be negative oh, i. Can you put their names on here too? Because our, our gym teacher don't believe that they were you in You need to write down their names, All and right. I'll sign it. And then i to the eighth is going to equal 1. So the important thing that I want you guys to understand is it starts repeating itself. Every 4 to the every 4th power, it starts repeating itself, OK? Thank you. So after um, to the 4th period, it repeats itself. So what I want to do is say, well, how many repetitions of 4 is there going to be when I raise it to the 38th power? So basically, what I'm going to do is do 4 divide into 38. And 4 divides into 38. Ten, I mean nine. 9 times. 9 times 4 is 36. Subtract 2. So the remainder is going to be 
what the power is. So i squared is equal to negative 1. So you guys can simplify by basically determining the number of repetitions. 